I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru. I'm with the enormous Ian Parry 8-pack of overclockers and he's going to talk us these three systems that he personally has designed, tested and built from scratch. Take it away Ian, I'm going to get out of your way. Okay, we'll start with the, the number one system or the biggie. Uh, that's a supernova and that's this one here. That's uh, based on the X99 platform with 5960X heavily overclocked to at least 4.6 gigahertz, high cache and high speed memory at over 3000. Uh, this is a four way SLI system, so literally it's designed to play anything at 4K and beyond with no problem whatsoever. And the cards in there are for Titan X. Uh, they're all overclocked and tuned heavily too, and selected for the memory overclocking color capabilities and also similar ASIC values. This means that when they're boosting, they remain stable. This system to uh, to, to maintain temperatures and to uh, maintain stability has a dual co uh, loop cooling system which is based around the Aquero controller by Aquacomputer and that dynamically changes the fan speed to keep the speed nice and low and quiet at hardly any load up to full load where the fans need to kick in a little bit. Obviously the idea is that this can be placed on people's desks when they're uh, doing rendering work or the gamer and not be uh, impeding on sound levels. This is of course fully VR compliant uh, and is working great in all VR titles. The case here you'll see is uh, my own specific design built by Liam Lee, uh, the 8-pack cube case and that will be available to everyone to buy an Overclockers UK and Case King at the end of this month. Uh, the Supernova, like I say, is the flagship machine and uh, basically we're trying to get the absolute maximum out of it. We're, uh, the CPUs in the machine are like uh, the top 10% um, and like I say, the overclock starts at 4.6 but usually we're pushing these further than 4.6, normally 4.7 or 4.75 on the CPU and different configuration of memory is affecting that overclock. Some people are using the stock configuration here which have got 16 gig at around 3000. Some people have had up to over 190 gig in this machine uh, which obviously puts strain on the IMC which means that maybe you can't push the cache or the, uh, or the actual memory speed itself so high but we try and keep the system as efficient as possible and that's where the hand tuning comes in. So each one of these systems I'm hand tuning from scratch. What's kind of interesting also about this particular system here is uh, it's been um, colour coded for the end user so we're matching it with the red and black theme of the board with uh, the Pexon cables here, the, the red 8-pack uh, grills and this one also has the chrome plated tubing uh, which is an additional extra that quite a few customers like, they like the mirrored finish. Also we've got the clear liquid here which is by Mayhem's the idea of the clear liquid is that in this one is that we can then use red LEDs to set off the system and make it look great and individual to the end user. Uh, so now we'll move on to uh, my uh, lowest end NVIDIA LAN gaming PC. Uh, this is the Asteroid. Uh, the components are again totally hand selected but this time instead of being on the X99 or Extreme platform, this time it's on the more mainstream Z170 platform. Uh, the CPU in there is a Skylake 6700K uh, and that in this machine has been pushed to at least 4.7 GHz but again each machine is individually tuned uh, and I believe this one is currently running at around 4.9. Um, the card in here is an NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti uh, and we guarantee an overclock of at least 1450 on the, ca on the core of that card and at least 1900 on the memory. So again we're overclocking uh, the GPU. The memory sticks in there, we've got 8 gig of 3866 MHz Team Group Extreme memory, uh, which is, is offering an crazy amount of bandwidth, obviously, at that speed and great efficiency to the CPU. And we're also pushing the cache on the CPU to, to maintain bandwidth, even if you're using for Photoshop and things like this. I mean, obviously, with the diminutive stature of the case, it's designed for LAN, but the, there's absolutely no reason that this couldn't be used as a home gaming PC in, in any environment, and it, it would be as strong as pretty much anything you can buy on the market with a single GPU. Interesting features of this case is obvious, uh, of this system obviously is it's designed uh, it's designed for LAN, so it does come in a flight case, and it's very easy to, to carry it to LAN, no problem. Uh, and, uh, and it's in the price point similar to like a very high-end water-cooled uh, water-cooled, if you like. 
um, laptop, but this obviously completely smashes the laptop for performance. Interesting features of the system uh, then are obviously it's completely VR ready, uh, it's designed for gaming at 1440p and 4K and obviously professional application where uh, single thread is, is paramount but also some multi-thread uh, situations. Not as much as the supernova because obviously that's got more cores and threads on the CPU. With this, but the brief obviously was to keep this as small as possible uh, and to do so we've integrated almost all the water cooling into the case. We've got the reservoir on the back here uh, and we've got the radiators stored under here. All the channels are actually, which you can see around here, are actually for the fluid, are actually cut into the case, which really minimizes the footprint and also gives it a great visual look. We've got the eight pack logo here and we've got the channels to the GPU here and the CPU here. So everything's, all the fluid's been channeled neatly around the case and which really helps for cable management and airflow. Also, just like the Supernub, we've got the Aquero fan controller on this. And again, it's dynamically adjusting fan speed according to temperature or load on the system. At the moment, the fans are not spinning at all. And that was a goal with this system. Uh, a couple of customers have said to me, oh, could you make it smaller? Well, it is possible to make it smaller, but then the radiator space, which is down here, uh, two 240s would have had to be smaller. And therefore the fans would have had to spin faster to remove the same amount of heat. So what we've got here is a system that not only is comp very, very powerful for its small footprint, it's also almost perfectly silent. And like I say, when there's no load on the system, actually the fans are at complete stop, so it's passively cooled. Also, we've got a high quality Superflower Titanium PSU in the system, which has a eco mode, if you like, so even that fan can be switched off or is not spinning until you really load it hard. So I think what we've got here with the Asteroid is literally the, the perfect gaming piece here in terms of what, what uh, the look, which is very uh, distinctive and tailored. And again, the customer can change uh, the color of the, asset, uh, uh, the accent panels here, the color of uh, the tubing if they wish, uh, the color of the fluid and so on and so on. Uh, and this system's looking great in blue and green as well. Uh, and uh, like I say, it's completely uh, silent in use and uh, can smash through any game up to 4K res, no problem. So finally, uh, in the 8-pack range, this is, uh, if you like, uh, the lowest end PC, but again, still incredibly high end in comparison to most gaming PCs. We've got uh, the Meteoid here. Uh, this is yet to be launched and it's featuring uh, AMD graphics and AMD uh, Fury X. Just like all the range of my PCs, it's overclocked uh, and made very efficient and the CPU is of course hand selected. In this uh, system we've got an ASUS gaming uh, Z170i motherboard. I chose that because unlike the Impact you can uh, put NVMe storage on it no problem and run the storage incredibly fast. It's also got SSD storage too. So in the system we've got a highly overclocked i7 Skylake CPU again around 4.7 gigahertz but again uh, just like all my other systems, it's hand-tuned, and this one, I believe, is at 4.8. The memory is uh, 2666 MHz, 32 gig, uh, of course, Air Vengeance. And then we've got the AMD Fury X, which is overclocked to 1100 on the core and 550 on the memories. So a nice 10 to 15% boost there on the GPU. This uh, system is completely VR-ready, uh, and it's really working great at 1440p and 4K resolution. And that's what it's actually designed for the gamer who is uh, looking to really hit VR hard and also looking to play all the DirectX 12 titles, especially at very high resolutions, which is suited to the AMD GPU uh, with no problems. So also just like, uh, just like the previous Astro GPU, we've got some unique features on this, on this system. Uh, again, the water cooling is completely integrated into the case. So we've got the reservoir here at the front uh, with the 8-pack logo on it. And, and you can see also that the fluid churning around the 8 there at the front. Again, that's for great visual impact and people taking this to LAN would want that to, would, would really enjoy that and get people, you know, get people talking, come to the desk, or oh, really great system and so on and so on. How do you get this effect? And obviously it's, uh, it's with creating the churning effect in the reservoir initially, and then also a special fluid made by Mayhem's called uh, Aurora, which is giving this like glinting or spiral effect in the, in the 
tubes. This isn't affecting performance at all, but it's giving a really nice visual effect and something that customers would probably choose. This system, just like uh, all the others, is controlled on the fly again by uh, Aquero, again to keep noise down, uh, especially well under no load, and then under load, again, keep the noise to an absolute minimum while keeping the components at uh, a favourable temperature or perfect temperatures to maintain stability during overclocked. Of course with this as well and all the others you can choose, you can change uh, on the fly the settings on the Aquero but with this one it has an interesting, uh, interesting I suppose effect on the pump because every time you change the pump speed the, this is going to adjust the effect of the water cooling very slightly. We can see it here moving through the channels here and here and obviously up to the GPU uh, and up to the CPU and it's got this uh, if you like rotary effect in the tubes uh, and that's going to uh, be changed by pump speed. If you slow it down it's a more mellow effect. If you uh, speed it up it's really like lightening up into the card. I've obviously set that up to be ideal to get the to get the speed that we need for cooling but it, end user could adjust that dynamically no problem. The theme here of the system is of course red and black to fit in with the, the AMD colour scheme uh, and this was on view at the uh, VR World Congress recently in Bristol and had great, great uh, feedback from both AMD and HTC actually. HTC certainly looking to buy the machine and also AMD to demo VR around the world. Also in this machine we've got, uh, we've got a, bit, a little bit less rad space so we've got a, a dual rad here and a, a single rad here. Um, on this one we're not running the memory as high so the CPU is requiring a, quite a lot less volts than uh, if you like uh, the asteroid here so we need slightly less cooling. Also the AMD GPU is not overclocked quite so high and again it's not, not quite pulling so much heat into the loop. The, uh, the, thing, the thing what people often don't realise oh. on our forums is that they said, they, they, like for example they said oh this is expensive of yeah, course yeah, but yeah. the development in the yeah, case yeah. is expensive yeah. uh, and just the, f the CPU for example is 4.9 stable like I mean you've got to go through 100 to find 10 you know who is who on earth is going to buy 100 yeah. CPUs to find you know and with this one it's the same and this CPU is like 700 pound you know? well Ian they're definitely impressive to wrap up the three systems approximately what sort of prices are we talking going from small to big well obviously all systems can be uh, upgraded if you like sure. but at the base spec that we see here uh, this one here is around 3000 yep. uh, coming with flight case and obviously all accessories. Yep. This one's around 4000 again coming with flight case because it's designed with portability in mind and the Lang Gamer. Right. And, and the then this one here the big daddy this one's around 12000. And when I arrived at Overclockers, I was actually ready to make some sort of joke about the 12 grand PC. Obviously, it's a flagship. This is obviously the case. Actually, it sells. It sells at a steady rate. Approximately, how many do you sell a month or a year? Uh, uh, well, this one we sell one about every three weeks or so, this one. And obviously, going to Kitkuru, you can see uh, close-up photos of these amazing systems. And obviously, watch the video uh, uh, again, frankly, to get a better look at some of the details of these systems. I'm Leo Water for Kit Guru. This is Ian Parry, 8-pack for Overclockers. Thank you.